Well, time now for a new weekly segment that we're calling Coach's Corner. Every week, we're going to examine a different key to building a team or program and hear what Liberty University coaches think about the topic. Today, we discuss team chemistry. How important is it? How do these coaches foster it within their programs? Team chemistry is uh, uh, quite an interesting topic because uh, it's not something a coach can always control. It really depends upon the heart of the team. And I've had years where we had great team chemistry and years when we didn't. And people will say, well, just create the team chemistry. But actually, uh, it depends very largely on the heart of the athlete. Uh, and how they come together and unite behind the mission. We really spend a lot of time on a daily basis on uh, getting the girls to work together and to battle through adversity together. So we do things in terms of just general practice. We'll, we'll get together and we'll do some problem solving. We'll stop practice occasionally and, and uh, you know, just on the court, we'll, we'll talk about things that we can do to overcome adversity as a group. We do some team building and uh, crazy things like maybe even play paintball. And you'll find out real quick who the aggressive ones are and who depends on each other and who's the shy ones real quick when, especially with a paintball flying by their head. Team chemistry is, is vital to any program. Uh, you know, the, the connections with each team member and uh, them buying into the vision and, and mission and then uh, living that out each day. In fact, coming into the off season, you know, key, team chemistry comes really important uh, that they stay in contact with their workouts and and just pushing that championship mindset even when uh, they're not necessarily together. I think one of the ways that we try and do it is just investing in our guys making sure they feel great about uh, their experience and when the student athlete experience is heightened and uh, and you got guys rowing in the same direction at the same time uh, man their your team is so much tougher to to uh, to defeat. You know, team chemistry is such an important part yeah. about a team that people don't think about. A great question for these coaches, but I'd be interested to talk to the men's coaches and the women's coaches and see if there's a difference in how they foster the team chemistry between them or is it something the same? Because coaching, I've talked to Coach Green a couple times yeah. and he says how I coach the women is so much different than a guy's team. Well, it's interesting too, like you saw there, Coach Tolzma, the track team, he said at one point, you know, I've got like over 100 people on my yeah. team. It's yeah. a lot more difficult for me. Or we talked to a swimming coach, we ended up using him in the piece, Jake Schellenberger, and he said, Team chemistry isn't that important to us because they're individual events. It is very important, though. You heard the coaches say that. But bottom line, and we'll talk about it in a later edition of this, getting that talent there, number one. Mm -hmm. Team chemistry can only take you so far if you don't have the talent in place. So we'll talk about Gotta recruiting have the in a later edition.